So today is Saturday, and the challenge is to not touch any form of social media for all of next week. And instead, we're going to replace that dopamine with meditation, reading, family and friends time, and the peaceful qualities of life. We're going to see if getting rid of social media will improve our attention span, increase our memory, have quicker thinking. So let's get rid of this brain rot and change how we feel about social media and increase positivity to how we feel about life. No brain rot this morning. My sanity is fading. So I'm at work right now and uh, I'm waiting for the assignment. And usually around this time I would hop on social media. I automatically went for YouTube and then I realized it's not there. So I'm just here staring at the sun, having a pizza. Hey, Tom. Listen, I don't know if it has to do with the fact that I've been busy for the whole day, for the last two days, but I feel unaffected. So I'm gonna keep going, see how it goes. In the jo oh, 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 give it to him. Oh, oh, shit, oh, look at the homework. It's 10, 13. It's time for bed. Around this time, I'm usually brain rotting my mind into watching some um, Minecraft Let's Plays from 2013. You know, some Bayesian Canadian Hunger Game videos. Instead, I'm reading the Ancient Manifesto. Think and Grow Rich. This book was written before you were born. And I get to enjoy this meal with the delicious side of silence. My favorite. No social media is going pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of idle time in my days. So I find myself reaching for YouTube or Instagram, which is very bad. So most of the time I'm just sitting with my thoughts. It's good to have a good thought process, a sharp thought process. And that's what I'm feeling. I feel alive. I feel happy. I feel full of energy. I don't feel like I need that dopamine, you know? All right, it's day five. At this point, it feels like social media is not part of my life. You know, I don't care to keep up with facades and, you know, like what what's really going on in people's lives. If I'm close with those people, I already know. I'm, I feel very locked in, you know, I had a great week with work, with the gym. After this, social media is probably gonna get limited. Stick around to find out how we feel at BTB Fit. Check us out on Instagram, on YouTube, we're on TikTok. We even have an email. Ah, <laughs> you know, shame. All right, so it's day seven of no social media. And at this point, we've done it long enough to talk about the pros and cons that we've experienced on this little journey of ours. So starting with the pros, we noticed that we have longer attention spans. After having sleep issues from the past few months, we sleep way better, much more peacefully. Since there's no time wasted on consuming content, we found a lot more productivity and things to do that are actually considered productive in our lives. And on top of that, longer workflows. Since not having social media and consuming anything, we found ourselves listening to a lot more music. And that music brings a lot more joy in our lives. That's kind of like the main source of dopamine that we were experiencing. We also found ordinary things becoming way more funnier, like a text message from a friend. Since we're deprived of the dopamine that comes from memes and brain rot, a little text can strike that dopamine back up. Our memories were a lot better. We remember our tasks for the entire day. There's no having to go on the phone to find it. And there was no wasted time in our days. You know, there's no sitting around, you know, an extra 30 minutes on the toilet. <laughs> One thing after the next, constant flow in our days, constant productivity. All right, so now moving on to the cons of no social media for seven days now, depending who, what you do for a living. If you're an influencer or you run your brand off Instagram or s social media in general, this will suck for you. You would have to go through these tacky third-party apps like Buffer to post. Another thing that I personally experienced is FOMO, so fear of missing out, and this is based on the music side of things. So I make music, Adrian also makes music, and there are more opportunities on social media to either promote yourself or uh, collaborate with other artists and stuff. And it, not having social media kind of gets in the way of the interaction you have with other people on social media to potentially grow. Social media, if done right, can be a tool. In our opinions, the pros heavily outweigh the cons. Heavily. Like, we feel better. I feel like we got more done. But the issue is, in this day and age, with what we're doing, it's kind of difficult not to have social media. We learn to funnel it and, you know, channel it in the right ways and tone it down a little bit since we have to. No social media for seven days. Will we do it again? Probably if we weren't doing what we're doing. And maybe when we get older. But right now, it's a tool. And we can't get rid of it. BTB, 100 reps. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace out.